Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do a problem on deflection, which is very important for the FE exam. Now for more videos covering engineering problems or FE exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we are giving a simply supported beam with distributed load and we need to calculate the displacement at the midpoint. Now, the deflection equations are provided to you on the reference manual and the mechanics of materials on page 89 and 90. So here, if we look at this diagram here, because that's what we have in the question, right? It is asked to calculate the deflection at midpoint here. Now, for this specific problem, it happened to be that the maximum deflection is located at midpoint. So to calculate for this, we can just use this equation and just easily solve for the problem, right? Now, if you use this equation and you use, let's say, uh, for x, you use L over 2 because that's the midpoint, you would end up with the same equation as this one. Now, to save a little bit of time, just go ahead and use this equation and that, and that would be the deflection at the midpoint. Now, let's say you got this diagram instead and you were asked to calculate the deflection at the midpoint. Well, you can't really use this equation because here it doesn't show us where the maximum deflection is or where it is located at and we can't assume it's happening at midpoint. So in this case, you have to use this equation and then you have to use x is equal to L over 2 to be able to solve the deflection at midpoint. Now, take a moment, go over this, these equations here so that way if you get a question on the FE exam, you'll be able to tackle it. Now, let's apply the equation to solve for the displacement at midpoint. Now be careful guys here with the unit because we were giving some variables in feet and others in inches. Also, we need to give the answer in feet. So if we look at here, we have this is going to cancel and we're left with feet to the power of three. Now, if we look at the denominator, I have inches squared here cancels with inch to the power of four. So I'm left with inch squared. Now I got to convert inch squared to feet squared, right? And so that's what I did here. We have one foot over 12 inches and everything has to be squared. And so now what I'm going to be left with is feet squared in the denominator. Now feet cubed with feet squared cancels and we're left with feet and that's what we need, right? If you guys plug in these numbers, you're going to get minus 0.16 feet. It's minus because this beam is going to deflect this way because of the distributed load. And this is the displacement or the deflection that we calculated for. Also, note guys here that I didn't provide to you multiple choice because one of the FE exam formats is you have to enter the answer. I already talked about the FE exam format. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link above there. If you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets, you can visit my website, enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.